The Children's Crusade in 1963 was the use of school-aged children primarily to participate in nonviolent demonstrations in downtown Birmingham. We were told in some of the mass meetings that a day would come when we could really do something about all of these inequities that we were experiencing. And we were calling it D-Day. That was May 2nd, 1963. On a Monday morning, a young lady came out to visit our school to recruit people to come downtown. And she said, I'm hoping you can motivate our kids to come and go to jail. Some people, and their parents might have known what they were doing. There's a lot of folks who, you know, their people had no idea. My mother knew about it, and she told me not to march, don't leave the school ground, but I did anyway. Droves of us left school and walked to 16th Street. We saw the kids coming into the 16th Street Baptist Church, and we were elated. They made it. They made it. We sang some freedom songs. We said some prayers. They reminded us this was a nonviolent movement. And with those instructions, we were lined up in pairs, walked down those steps singing, We Shall Overcome. Lo and behold, coming off of the steps at the 16th Street Baptist Church, there were 25 to 40, 50 sheriffs across the road with these little batons in their hands at the ready. First we were faced with the dogs and the water hose. Kids are sprayed with fire hoses. They kick out 100 pounds of pressure. They tore clothes, they tore flesh. The police officer stopped us and uh, speaking through a megaphone said, get out of this line or you're going to jail. I was so intimidated by facing a white man. I'd never had that encounter. We were put in a cell block, I understand, hold 650 people, and this cell block had over 1,500 people in it. But there were so many people there, we were just standing around shoulder to shoulder. More and more people were being arrested, and they called for school buses to come for us. And this time, we were carried to the state fairground. We got excited driving into the state fairground because blacks weren't allowed to go to the state fair except on Saturday night after 10 o'clock. And here we are in Fair Park and it's about to rain. It was a ferocious thunderstorm that day. And I can recall several of the girls say that God don't even want us. I think we were the pivotal point that caused some changes uh, to take place in society. I think the nation was so outraged by how children were being treated in a nonviolent movement until it touched the hearts of people who otherwise might not have noticed what was going on. It's not about having gone to jail, how long I stayed, and what we went through that day going to jail. It's about our kids. And our kids need to know the story. Without those young people making the sacrifice that they made, you know, the tide wouldn't have been turned. You know, it, it just, it was meant to be. And uh, well, those young people made change that has lasted uh, ever since.